Hey guys, this is number 37. Aiden and his sister Ella are having a race. Aiden runs at a rate of 10 feet per second, and Ella runs at a rate of 6 feet per second. Since Ella is younger, Aiden is letting her begin 30 feet ahead of the starting line. Let Y represent the distance from the starting line, and X represent the time elapsed in seconds. Write an equation to model the distance Aiden traveled. So let x equal time in seconds and let y equal distance from the starting line. Okay, so for Aiden, his distance from the starting line starts at zero and then he moves at 10 feet per second. So his equation is going to be, I guess I'll put it in this, y equals 10x. Now write an equation to model the distance Ella traveled. So Ella's distance from the starting line can be modeled by the 30 feet up that she started with and a speed of six feet per second. So these are our two equations. Now it says, on the set of axes below, graph your equation. So let's graph Aiden's first. Aiden's, I'm just gonna write them here so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Aiden's is y equals 10x. And Ella's is y equals 30 plus 6. Yeah, 30 plus 6x. Okay, so let's graph Aiden's first. So Aiden, he has a y-intercept of 0 and then a slope of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So actually, if we're keeping with blue and pink, I'm going to do Aiden in blue. So we have 0, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wait, I just committed a cardinal mistake here. Look at the axes. Look at the y-axis. Each box is represented by 10 feet. So I'm adding this slope is actually just going up one box, right? Because this is 10, 20, 30, 40. Ooh, you got to always read the problem, right? <laughs> and then over, what are these counting by? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got up 10 over one, up 10 over one, and it's going to continue on like that. Okay, so the line would look something like this. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to label this y equals 10x. Okay, and then the Ella's, let's make this more Ella's color. There we go. So Ella's is going to be 30 plus 6x. So she's starting 30 up, and then her slope is 6x. So like this over 1, like this over 1. Ooh, I don't know. This one's kind of tricky. I feel like given the scale, it's kind of hard to determine where the points are really going to go. So I'm going to graph this guy. So Ella's is going to be 30 plus 6x. Okay, let me get some points here. So we've got negative 6, negative 6. Oh, actually, our graph starts right at 0, 0. So let's do that. Negative 5, 0, 0. Oh, no. Okay. So then up here, we start at 30. Okay, now we're starting at 0, 30. That's where our graph starts at. Great. 0, 30. We got a point there. And then we go up to 136. I think we can skip a few. Let's go up to a nice even point. There we go. 560. So 560. Let's go to the next one. 1090. So 
Oh, 15, 120. That was a good one. 15, 120, 110, 20. Okay. All right. Now let's connect them with a line. Beautiful. Oh no, why does it do that? I hate when it does that. This is why I don't use the line feature. It's like annoying. Okay. See, it's like not where I wanted it to be. Um, I need to show it by hand. Okay. You should always use a ruler, but since I'm doing it on the computer, it's kind of annoying. Okay. Cool. So then now let's label this as y equals 30 plus 6x. And then here it says exactly how many seconds does it take Aiden to catch up to Ella? So when they catch up to Ella, they are at the same um, feet from the starting line. Their y value is the same. So let's find the point where the two graphs cross. Um, I just want to make sure that we have an accurate intersection point because when you graph by hand it's not always accurate so i already have ella's equation in here i'm going to add aiden's just to make sure that um i have a good idea of what it looks like so let's go ahead and menu graph trace let's count by 10 or actually let's keep counting by one okay there we go. Okay, we are back at it. Actually, let's see where they cross. Okay, they're going to cross kind of right about here. So let's go ahead and zoom out from here. Okay, great. So now we can definitely see where they're going to cross. And let's find that intersection point. Here and here. They're intersecting at 7.5 comma 75. Okay, so remember the 7.5 is talking about seconds. And the 75 is talking about feet from the starting line. So exactly how many seconds? So it's asking us for an answer in seconds. Does it take Aiden to catch up to Ella? It takes 7.5 seconds for Aiden to catch up to Ella. Because that is the spot where they are the same distance, 75 feet, from the starting line. The end.